Hi. I was asked to do a video about uh, how to run the notification in XSplit. So, uh, currently there are two ways how to uh, add it to XSplit. First is uh, you need to use Capture Area. Uh, second is uh, if you have uh, XSplit 2.0 and above, uh, it, it is XSplit Beta then you have uh, these additional sources here web page URL and basically in the same way as in OBS browser plugin you, you just pass the all-in-one link that is in the configuration wizard and the notification will work so uh, maybe let's start with that one because it's simpler and let's continue from the, there so in dashboard you just maybe let's start the FSN first uh, I of course have Mongo running on the window I started just a free steam notification jar and I will go to dashboard and here normally you will configure whatever you want but uh, what you need to do for XSplit you need to go to sound to scroll down and you need to click this checkbox uh, when I tested notification with XSplit it turned out that uh, the uh, uh, HTML5 audio element is not working there so I don't know what kind of uh, browser they used for the base of the plugin but it didn't work so I, I uh, by clicking this you will use fl flash sound and this, this work works so I, I tested this so you, you click this, you save the configuration and uh, after that you can go to available pages, you can copy the all-in-one link and normally add it like this to, to OBS, to, sorry, XSplit and uh, uh, the size will be smaller and what you need to do now, because it was so small, the notification will be broken. So you need to uh, somehow reload the the page. Okay, and that that's it. The notification should work. And they are. So, as you can see, there is nothing to it. it, it will work, it will work normally as, as, it, as it, it is working with OBS, but this is of course uh, beta. So, uh, another thing what you can do, uh, you can go to, uh, you can stop the application if you don't want to or, don't, uh, or can't download the beta. Uh, you can uh, just uh, use capture error feature from OBS, from XSplit, sorry. Uh, so what you need to do, you need to open jar with some kind of uh, archiver software. And I'm using Total Commander, so I just will click Control page down and I will open the, the jar file. You normally will double click it and it will open some kind of archiver you have. So you will go to public you will go to style and you will copy all in one CSS so the same steps that you normally do when you uh, change in the notifications um, and you will edit that and what you need to do you need to find a body element and uh, you need to add some kind of background color so instead of transparent let's add I don't know uh, green or something just choose something that you will nullify with with capture uh, feature so okay so once you did that you need to copy it back uh, where it was yeah okay 
and we can start the uh, application again okay so basically in, in dashboard you will copy the, the link the same link that you used before and you will uh, open it in, in Chrome it's it must be Chrome because I the notification w uh, were created for WebKit based browser plugins it, it will not work in uh, in Firefox so as you can see we changed the background to green and it is green so what you will do in XSplit you will uh, you will add uh, capture screen you will select when you can start when you will finish something like this and because this is beta it will annoy me like that and yeah we just we will just resize it Yeah, I don't know why I cannot do the full screen, probably because of aspect ra ratio. So anyway, you, you will capture the array you want, and again, you will capture array you want, you will... Uh, I'm not quite sure why I didn't get the color feature, but... We'll get the uh, eyedrop tool and we'll null nullify that uh, yeah, that color. Okay. And basically the green background is now transparent. But be aware that every color that you use in notification that is green will also be transparent. So use some kind of unique color that, that you are not using in notification if you change the notifications. So, okay. So we have the notification in using capture error on the, uh, on the uh, X split. And, uh, sorry and uh, let's go back to dashboard and let's try to do some tests but remember we need to switch quickly <laughs> to, uh, to the screen that should be okay so as you can see as you can see it works both ways with capture array and with uh, and with uh, web url but uh, the uh, web link will only work in in the beta because they implemented that in beta so those are the ways you can uh, use the uh, free stream notification with xsplit uh, the same exactly the same way you can use it with uh, in obs but uh, in obs you, you you just need the base program you don't need to and the uh, OBS browser plugin. So this was uh, my quick tutorial and uh, to use XSplit be sure to uh, download the uh, version 1.053 uh, it will have the XSplit sound fix. Okay, thanks for watching and see you next time.